Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. The Lord bless you all. I want to say congratulations to everyone joining us on this live broadcast. I want to say God bless you. And I believe God's word is going to meet you well today. And I want to quickly say God bless you and congratulations to everyone that is a part of this broadcast today. It's very special. And I want to say this to you. Today's meeting has three sections. Three sections. I'm telling you, three sections. Yeah, one night, three sections. One night, three sections. I want to say God bless you all. And I want to say good evening to you. Good afternoon to you and good morning. Whatever time zone this message pops up on your timeline or if it's shared to you by any of the social media platforms, the Lord bless you. And I want to especially bless those later on that shared this morning. I told us yesterday, I gave us instructions, some of us to go ahead and share even in the morning. So if you're one of them, get ready. I'm going to be praying for you. Tonight, we're going to be having a guest in our midst and is a very wonderful man of God. Uh, most of us know him already. He has preached here once before and he's going to be a part of tonight's meeting in the second section. And I'm going to be taking up from now. Then the second section is going to be coming up. The third section, I'm coming to prophesy. I'm telling you tonight, the power of God is going to be evident to everyone that will be watching. Now go ahead and click on the like button. Make sure you click on the like button and share this broadcast because the Lord is about to change someone's story. I'm telling you, I'm going to be taking us through some sections of prayer before I bring up the man of God because the Lord told me certain things about tonight. And I believe that God is about to make a new thing to happen. God is going to make new things happen in your life. God bless you all. God bless you. Father, we bless your name. We give you all the glory and the honor. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name, O oh God. Thank you. You are the almighty God. You are the ageless, weariless, tireless, endless God. Father, we bless your name. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Praise his holy name. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Who is like unto thee? Oh, Lord, who is like unto thee oh Lord among the God who is like thee glorious in holiness yet full in praises do he wonders hallelujah always like unto thee oh lord who is like unto thee oh lord among the gods who is like thee glorious in holiness fearfully crazy do you wonders, hallelujah. Father, we bless your name. 
Lord, let everyone that we come in contact with this broadcast tonight, I pray and I plead, let their lives be blessed. Let them be blessed. Let all that is within them bless the name of the Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody type, thank you, Jesus. God bless you, Reina Okereke. God bless you, Gift Obazale Olambanri and Agnes. Agnes Omozapu. Wow. I think this 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 name sounds familiar. God bless you, Ma. Agnes Omozapu. Thank you, Jesus. I don't care. I don't feel like God bless you. Thank you. Tonight is someone's night. Thank you, my father. Thank you, my father. Thank you, Apostle Ruke Obozwa. God bless you also for watching. Father, we bless your name. Now, tonight, like I said, we are going to be having three sections tonight. I'm obviously going to be closing on time, right? So tonight is serious. Three sections in one night. We're going to be having a guest very soon. And I want to say this to you. Let your heart be opened. One of the things that makes me enjoy answers, I'll give you the secret today. One of the things that makes me enjoy God the way I do, is not about me praying. It's not about my prayer life is that my heart is opened. My heart is opened. If a baby is preaching, my heart is opened. Whoever the person is, my heart is opened. So when your heart is opened, you begin to receive that which God has for you. I want prayer. I'm going to pray for everyone tonight. Is that God should open your heart? Let your heart be opened. Let your heart be open tonight. Let your heart be open tonight. Somebody say, Lord, let my heart be opened. Lord, let my heart be opened. Lord, let my heart be opened to your word tonight. Somebody open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, so Lord, let my heart be open to your word tonight. Make sure you are you type it and you pray it. Oh Lord, let my heart be open tonight to your word, to your power, to your grace. Let my my heart be open tonight. Let my heart be open. Let my heart be open. Go ahead and begin to type it and pray it. Lord, let my I ask that my heart be open to your word tonight, to your power tonight. Let my heart be open, oh God. Laho sopra takazayati, le koko posho da balaka tekazu bagata, iko tom malagato bagata 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 bayata, iko lo bagata bagaso bagata bayata. Lord, let my heart be open tonight. Lord, let my Heart be open, Lord. Let my heart be open. Let my heart be open in the name of Jesus. Everybody, please go ahead and share. Go ahead and share. Now, I want to say, I want to say this to everybody when your heart is open, you can receive. It is the heart that accommodates the reception first before the hand receives it. If your heart is closed you can't receive anything in your hands so tonight i pray for you specially that your heart be opened in the name of jesus i decree tonight on this third day may your heart be open to receive somebody type my heart is open to receive somebody go ahead and type it my heart is open to receive my heart is open to receive. Somebody please go ahead and type it. Say, my heart is open to receive. When your heart is open to receive, there is nothing the devil can do about it. So I want you to 
Join me and say, Lord, my heart is open to receive. Oh, Lord, my heart is open to receive tonight. I tell you the truth, ladies and gentlemen, when your heart is open to receive, you must receive. Somebody say, oh, Lord, my heart is open to receive. My heart is open to receive. There is one thing I know when your heart is open to receive, even the devil cannot deceive you not to receive. So your heart needs to be open to receive. Now, straight ahead, I want us to take some prayers. Hallelujah. I want us to take some prayers. I believe in God's wonders. I believe in God's power. I believe in the Holy Ghost. But there's something the Lord said to me this evening. i like to share with us. Now, one thing the Lord said to me that can bring miracles to pass in your life is his power. When you lack the power of God, there are certain things you can never receive. When you lack power, not power in statement, but power in demonstration of God's ability. When you lack the power of God, you lack the potency in God. When you lack the power of God, you lack the, the potency in his word. Power is what generates miracles. Power is what makes wonders happen. Power is what comes on a man. He begins to attract help to himself. Power is what comes on you. People have no other choice than to help you or bless you. Power is a dimension of God where God dispatches himself through men to people. One time the Lord said to Moses, he said, I want you to distribute your power to my people. And he distributed it to 70 of them. When you carry the power of God, you cannot be stranded. There are sicknesses that should remain in one's body. But as long as, sorry, as soon as the power of God comes upon you, that sickness will disappear. That sickness will find its way. That sickness will disappear. In the days of his power, the Bible said, the people shall be willing. Somebody type, I need power. Somebody type, Lord, I need power. When the power of God comes, nothing happens around you. You will not see the sign. There are certain people that die cheaply is because they lack power. Somebody say, Lord, I need power. Yesterday I was saying, if you are not from the secret place of the most high God, you may be from the secret from, from a secret court. Every man of power is a, is a is a man of the secret place. You need power in this wicked world. Follow me. The Bible said in the book of John chapter 1 verse 12. John 1 12. John 1 12. The Bible said, but as many as received him. Can I ask those of us that are online for now, before others join us, have you received the power of God? So have you received Jesus? Have you received Jesus? If you have received Jesus, just go ahead and type, I have received Jesus. He said, but as many as received him, you are not trying to receive him. 
but you have received him. You have received him. To them, gave he power to become sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. When he now talks about even to them that believes on his name, there are people that have not received the sonship and the daughtership of the Almighty. But just because they believe in the name of Jesus, just because they believe in the name of Jesus, they will receive the power. Now, you have received power. It's just like a military personnel with a multi-purpose machine gun loaded with rounds of bullets with some grenades around him, yet he's running from somebody with a knife. The reason why he's running is because he has not he has no information of what he has received. He am a child of God tonight. There are some of you, that noise that happens around your house after you receive power at a word. At a word. At a word. That nonsense will stop. I remember one time, the mark is still on my ceiling to date. Till date. The mark I'm talking about still on my ceiling to date. One time, I don't know what me and my wife were doing. We were praying some dangerous prayer. And I pointed to the ceiling, made certain declaration. All of a sudden, we began to hear something smell. And we saw a mark like something stretched and died on the ceiling. You need to know you have already received this power. You are not trying to receive power. You have received it already. You are not trying to be healed. You are already being healed. You are not trying to be blessed. You are already blessed. You are not trying to be great. You are already great. One thing that you must go for is information and knowledge. When this tool begins to work in your life, you will walk out of any problem. You will walk out of any challenge. You will walk out of any attack. You will walk out of any kind of, of demonic arrow sent to you, it can't touch you. Why? Information and knowledge has given you power. The power of God is about to be released upon you. God said to me, he said tonight he's going to release his power. Because only when the power of God touches a man, the man becomes a wonder to his word. When you lack power, there are certain things you can never enjoy until power comes. Hallelujah. We are about to take a prayer, but I need you to have this understanding, this knowledge, this knowing that you have received power. Because you have received Jesus, you have power. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Let me give you another information. Information is power. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Luke 10, 19 says, Behold, I give unto you, watching me, power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. So any other power that woman is using, I tell you the truth, their power is not up to what you carry. 
it is because the man that went to the native doctor or the herbalist or the witch doctor, whatever, is because they have an information of what the Baba has given to them. But what the Baba God has given to you through scriptures, you don't know. That is why most times I, I when I go out to preach, I, I hear people, they attack people, but me, they don't attack me because I have an information. I have an information because behold, he has given unto us power and so over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nothing. He did not say sometimes. He said nothing shall by any means it comes. Either it comes by arrows that fly by day Either it comes by terror of the night, that's bad dreams. Whatever way it comes, because you have an information on what you carry. Somebody say, I carry power. Now I know. Somebody say, I carry power. Now I know. Type it on the comment section. I carry power. Now I know. Now, having established this information, that we transform you tonight. Number one, don't forget I said, John chapter 1 verse 12, we spoke about, but as many as received him, to them he gave power. Then in Luke chapter 10, he now said again, behold, I give unto you power. Now, I've been collected all this power. Let us pray prayer. <laughs> The Lord was saying, talking to me about this scripture. Every one of us know this scripture. But the Lord was talking to me afresh about it. And the scripture is Matthew 11 verse 12. Matthew 11 verse 12. Matthew 11 verse 12 is a popular scripture. The Bible says, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violence take it by force. Somebody type it on the comment section. I will take it by force. I will take it by force. Type it now. Everybody type it. Everybody type it. He said, right from the days of John the Baptist, even till now, the kingdom of God suffered violence. The violent take it by force. Listen to me. God began to speak to me today. He said, nothing comes by choice, but by force. Can you type that? Nothing comes by what? Choice, but by force. You cannot settle if you don't apply force. Force is what makes you remain till today. So the Bible is now saying, for you to enjoy wonders, you must take that wonder by force. For you to carry your baby, you must carry your baby by force. For you to get that visa, you must take the visa by force. Because normally, the powers of your father's house, the powers of your mother's house, the system you are in, will not hand it over to you. They will never. No one will open his eyes to allow you to overtake them. How many of you have heard overtaking is allowed? I disagree with that statement. I disagree with that statement, 100%. Overtaking is not allowed. I can explain. Overtaking can be allowed when the man in front slows down. 
But if I am on hundred and someone behind me is on thirty, now the person behind me begin to accelerate coming unless I decide not to move above 100 or accelerate above 100 that's when that person will ever catch me up catch up with me I mean so why would people say overtaking is not allowed it's very allowed Listen, the Lord said to me tonight, he said it's going to happen by force. Because let me say this to you. If you are supposed to be married and you are not married, you must take your wedding down by force. If you are supposed to be pregnant till now, one year, two years, three years, four, five, six, seven, and you are counting, you are aging, nothing is changing. Take your change by force. Somebody type, I will take my change by force. God opened my eyes and he showed me so much that should happen in this meeting. He says, son, it can only happen by force. You don't get things by wishing. You get it by warfare. If you want to go far, you must put effort and pressure is needed. So I want us to take this prayer very. I don't know what you want God to do. Some of you, you want God to bless your children. Some of you, you need open doors for your children. Some of you, you are crying to God for opportunity for your children. The Lord have me to tell you, it can only happen by force. It won't happen by choice. It will happen by force. He said, right from the days of John the Baptist till now, the kingdom of God suffers violence. The violent take it by force. Are you ready to take that thing by force? We are going to take this prayer and I'm going to invite the man of God very soon. I believe he, he should be coming up any moment from now. As soon as I see him up, I bring him up. Now, I want you to take this prayer seriously. I don't know what you have been looking for. But this is six nights of wonders. And this is our month of great miracles. Listen, you cannot get your miracle by wishing it. You must fight for it. Are you ready to pray? Someone say, in the name of Jesus, my father, my father, as I begin to pray now, whatever that belongs to me that I have been waiting for, I take it by force. I take it by force. I take it by force. Huh? I take it by force. Huh? Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. The Lord said to me, there are things that can never meet you where you are. There are things that should meet you in the place of prayer. I don't pray for battle. I don't, sorry, I don't pray in battle. I pray ahead for battle. No one that wants to go for battle battle that prepares in battle they prepare for battle so open your mouth and begin to pray everything oh lord that belongs to me that has been suspended as i begin to pray now i take it by force i take my miracle by force i take it by force open your mouth and pray if there is a man to pray or a woman to pray there is a god to answer whatever my husband needs to enjoy 
I take it by force. Whatever that belongs to my wife, I take it by force. Whatever that belongs to my husband, I take it by force. Whatever that belongs to my children, I take it by force. Whatever that belongs to you, take it by force. In the place of prayer, I take my miracle by force. Whatever that belongs to me, I take it by force. I take it forcefully. Yapa kopa shanda, ika pena kapena kopena kopara damaya, ika mashanda. In Jesus' name, pray. The Lord said to me, "There are people holding what belongs to people spiritually." We are going to take this prayer now. Anyone in possession, anyone in possession of my miracle, as I pray now. I force it out of your, your hand. Listen, some of you are supposed to be breadwinners, but the enemy has made you bread, bread beggars. Some of you that are supposed to be givers are beggars. Hear this so clear. God said power can change hand if you can believe to pray. Some of you, your promotion is on someone's Signature. You are going to pray. Father, anyone holding what belongs to me. Angel of the six months. Pull it out of their hand. Listen. In Acts chapter 12, Peter was kept in the prison. In Acts chapter 12, Peter was kept in the prison. No one would have saved Peter from the hand of Herod until an angel came to pull him out by force. Life answers to force. You are going to pray. Anyone holding what belongs to me, anyone in possession of what belongs to me, as I pray now, I take it by force. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. Anything that belongs to my husband, every contract that belongs to my husband that is hanging, I take it by force. Everything that belongs to me, I take it by force. I take it by force. Everything that belongs to me, I take it by force. Every miracle that belongs to me, I take it by force. Whatever that it is that belongs to me, I take it by force. I forcefully pull it out. In Jesus' name, pray. I tell you the truth. There are certain things that are in the possession of your enemies until you take it by force. You can never take possession of it. Many of us are sick, but we have refused to take our healing by force. He said, You have received power. I decree. In the name of Jesus, receive power. Receive power to take what belongs to you. Listen to me. Some of you may say, I don't like trouble. I don't want trouble. Listen to me. In this life, you must look for trouble. 
If you are not looking for trouble, somebody will look for your trouble. No wonder one time Ahab saw Elijah. He said, I, the one that troubled Israel. So some of you, you need to be troublemaker. One time they said Paul was a ringleader. You need to use force. If you want to be a plus in life, be a force in life. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, the God of heaven will give you what belongs to you. I said that position that belongs to you, God will give it unto you. I said that position that belongs to you, my Father will give it to you. I said that position that belongs to you, my Father in heaven will give it to you. I say we give it to you. I say we give it to you. In the name of Jesus. Hear this? There are some of you, God is going to be taking people's position. People that have become opposition to you, God is going to be giving you their positions. Somebody's, that's somebody's prophecy. God is going to be giving to you what your enemies have used to oppress you. In the name of Jesus. If you believe it, receive it. Take what belongs to you by force. In Jesus' name. Now, I want to know this. Tonight, this is just the first session of prayer. The man of God should be coming up on, online now so that we can get to enter the second stage of this broadcast. Now, look at this. God is about to do wonders in your life. The only thing that could make Pharaoh allow the children of Israel go is because God displayed his wonders. It's because God displayed his wonders. I want you to know that God is about to display his wonder in your family in the mighty name of Jesus. I said God is about to display his wonder in your family in the mighty name of Jesus. I said God is about to display his wonder in your family in the mighty name of Jesus. And God needs to use you to display that wonder. Hallelujah. I said God is about to bring you out through his wonder. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Kapale Kosobraga. Zaketa Akasebaya. I'm trying to bring up the man of God. Please open your heart to receive tonight. Open your heart to receive tonight. Tonight is special. By the grace of God, we are going to be closing early because I have a vigil tonight again. I have a vigil tonight. So please don't miss any part of these three sections. Hallelujah. God bless everybody this evening. God bless you all. Esther, God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. The God of awesome wonder will visit your family today. Every one of you, get ready. Get ready. God is about to do a wonder in your life. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible said in the book of... Um, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Bible said in the book of... Exodus chapter number 15, verse 11. Exodus 15, verse 11. The Bible said, He said, Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods... Who is like who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. Now I want to say this to you. God is about to be doing wonders in your life every day, every week, every month. In the name of Jesus. In Namdi. Good to see you. It's been a while. God bless you, Namdi. Hallelujah. So God is going to be doing wonders in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Pastor Jeff, please, I'm waiting for you. 
God bless you all. I decree the God of wonders will show up for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right, I can see him now. Hallelujah. I'm going to be bringing him up now. Hallelujah. Thank you, my father. Praise God. Praise God. Now, tonight, God is going to be demonstrating his wonder through his servant. I told you this meeting is three in one. Three section in one. We just finished the first section now. This is the second section. The third one also is coming. I trust God for the prophetic and the third one. And this second one too carries the prophetic. I tell you. Now, one thing I have come to understand about the man of God of tonight is somebody that is loaded. And one of the, the undoing of this generation is when you don't allow people that carry something to display what they carry. Now, when you stop them from displaying it, you may be playing with your own destiny. I'm telling you the truth. So I want you to know that tonight, the grace of God is going to be made available through wonders. You are going to see the wonder of God tonight. I want to be blessed too, because I, I, I was super excited when he decided today he was going to be ministering. So I said, oh, thank God, I'll be able to rest for my video tonight. So I just want to come and release blessings after now. I'm telling you tonight is going to be so powerful. Now, the man of God is a pastor in Christ Evangelical Prayer Ministry, where I am, where I am nested. So he's a very wonderful man of God. I have watched him preach and I stand. Most of his message, I stand. Most times I can't, I don't know. Most times I have to just sow seed to him before he even go and preach. Yes, I do that. Because there is something he carries that I, I will not tarry to see him release. That with Jesus, joy, join me and welcome the Father, Son, and a man full of the Holy Ghost, the man full of God's power and God's word. Pastor Jeffrey Johnson. God bless you, man of God. Over God to bless. you right now. Please, our hearts are open. I've told them, everybody open your heart to receive tonight. God bless you, man of God. Over to you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir, for this wonderful privilege. And I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is uh, Pastor Jeff Johnson from Christ Evangelical and Prayer Ministry. And uh, I'm glad to have uh, Ambassador Fred as a senior colleague in the ministry. And uh, he has been a major and major source of blessing to me physically, spiritually, mentally, and um, in some areas of life that I don't want to mention anyway, but I'm still. You know, I'm watching him and he's really, really blessing me in those areas, though. Though I've never said anything about this, but I'm really blessed. I'm really blessed. He is a wonderful man of God. If you have this wonderful man of God with you, I want you to know that you don't just, if there are men of God you will have, you will regret. But there are some you will have, instead of you to regret, you always go up in life. You know, there's even between, imagine if Judas didn't die, imagine he became an apostle. He would have become a very useless apostle. But thank God for people like Paul who took the uh, man to, and uh, God has been faithful. And I really want to appreciate God. I also want to thank my father in the Lord, Pastor Emmanuel Johnson, for his impartation and the grace of God upon his life. I also want to thank my grandfather, Pastor Felix Johnson, uh, the General Officer of Christ Evangelical and Prayer Ministry. And I want to thank everyone who is here watching live from wherever you are watching in the world. I want to tell you something. Congratulations. And you are blessed. 
And uh, this evening, before we start, I just want us to quickly sing a song and appreciate God in your mind. Speak your own song and sing a song. Appreciate him. Tell him how wonderful he is. Tell him how great he is. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's the almighty. He's the all-sufficient God. Appreciate him. He's worthy. Thank him for your life. Thank him for the life of your loved ones. Thank him for the life of your children. Thank him for the life. Thank him for your job. Thank you for your job. Thank you for that money. Thank you for that money, the one you received and the one you are expecting. Thank him. Thank him. Father Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the lives of everyone watching, including my, including everyone all over the world watching. Father Lord, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, our Father. Blessed be your name, our God. Blessed be your name, the King of Kings. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. Holy Spirit divine, we commit today's program into your hands. We say you take perfect control. Heal the sick. Father, we pray if, there's been, if there be anyone who needs a miracle, Father, let the miracle happen in the name of Jesus. Let there be financial miracles. Let there be healings. Let there be signs and wonders in every one of us life in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree because we know there is no distance to the spirit world. We decree wherever they are watching from all over the world. Father, everyone who is going to watch, Father, Lord, let them have a testimony in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, our Father. Blessed be your name, our King. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Uh, once again, I also appreciate uh, Pastor Fred for this wonderful opportunity. And it's a great privilege sir, to bear the same name with you. And uh, because it was after a while, I knew he was also bearing the name Jeff. Thank you very much, sir. It's a very good opportunity to answer the same name with you. Quickly, we have a great topic before us, and it says Great Wonder. Great Wonder. And um, I, 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 I sat down and I began to think, great and wonder. Great is a word on its own. Wonder, when you hear the word wonder, you know something is great. So when you now hear great wonder, it's like saying great, great. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to open our Bible quickly. I'm reading quickly from the anchor scripture on Revelation, uh, Revelation 12 and verse 1. Revelation 12 and verse 1. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Revelation 12 and verse 1. I read quickly from here. Revelation 4. 4. No, 12. Sorry. 12 verse 1. 12 verse 1. Okay. I read quickly from my Bible here. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. And a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. Wow. What a great wonder is this. Just imagine you seeing someone wearing as a garment, the person is wearing the sun. And under this person's feet, under this woman's feet, is the moon. And over this woman's head are 12 stars. What a great wonder. She was clothed with wonder and herself is a wonder. But the Bible said something further about this woman. If you read, I don't want us to read all. The Bible said the woman wanted to give birth to a child. And the Bible said again in verse 2, he said, And being with a child, cried traveling in bed and pained to be delivered. In verse, verse 3, he says, There appeared another wonder. And behold, Great red, a great red dragon having seven heads, ten horns, and seven crowns upon his head. The first wonder was a righteous wonder. And this righteous wonder was about to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder. And this other wonder was a demonic wonder to counter the first agenda of God. And I will take us quickly again back to the beginning. We will go and read, we will read the book of Genesis 1 and verse 26. Genesis 1, 26. Genesis 1, 26. Genesis 1, 26. It says, and God said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fishes of the sea, over the fowls of the air, 
over the cattle, over every, over all the things of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Now, this Bible verse, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, and Revelation 12, 1 to 3, has a little bit of similarity. When God created lion in the beginning, the devil was not disturbed. When God created gorilla, the devil was not disturbed. When God created great whales, the devil was not disturbed. When God created the heaven and the earth, the devil was just watching. When God created the fishes in the sea, the devil didn't see anything. When God created the for the, 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 the and break forth earth out of water, the devil didn't see anything. When God created the firmament, the devil didn't see anything. When God created the lion, the bear, whatever they are, all animals, the devil didn't see anything. The moment God created man, the devil had an issue. There was a wonder in Revelation 12. The moment this woman the woman was clothed with glory. She was clothed with the sun. She had the moon under her feet. The devil was not worried about her glory. The devil was not worried about her crown. The devil was not worried about the 12 stars that was on her head. But the moment the woman was about to push that which was inside of her, the baby that was inside of her who was supposed to rule with the, uh, with the rod of iron, the devil became angry. I want us to know that the second, the, the second wonder that happened in the book of Revelation, the dragon the Bible was talking about was the devil. Every time God brings out a wonder, the devil also brings out his own wonder. Something happened in the land of Egypt. God said to Moses, go to the land of Egypt and I will do signs and wonders through your hands. I have placed signs and wonders in your hands. I'm going to perform those signs and wonders through your hands in the land of Egypt. I believe Moses was happy with this unction and the direction which God has given to him. He believed that when he got to Egypt, the moment he performed those wonders, Pharaoh would say, wow, this is wonder. I have never seen this before. Oh yeah, people of Israel, carry your bag and go. But something happened when Moses got to the land of Egypt. The Bible said he took the rod that was the rod of Aaron. He dropped the rod of Aaron and the rod of Aaron became a serpent. And that was a wonder. And Pharaoh laughed and said something in his mind. He said, this is this. My magicians can do this. They call his magicians. His magicians came forth and they also dropped their own rod. And their rod also became a wonder. But something that be Something, yes, all the rod became a wonder. The rod of Aaron became a wonder. The rod that Moses dropped became a wonder. The rod that the people, the, the magicians of the Egyptians dropped became a wonder. But there was something more than just having a wonder. And that is something that is called a great wonder. Something that was beyond the ordinary wonder, something that was beyond the expected, something that was beyond the, the, the imagined, the snake of Aaron and Moses began to swallow the snake of the magicians. And last I checked, when a snake swallows one thing, it waits for a while for the thing to digest before it can swallow another one. But because this is a great wonder, I don't know how many magicians were in Egypt. I don't know how many rods of the magicians came to the floor. I don't know how many rods of the magicians became serpent. But the Bible said something, that the rod of Moses became a serpent and began to swallow every other serpent. Everybody had a wonder, but the wonder that God performed through the life of Moses was a great wonder. I am here to prophesy to you. You are yet to see that great wonder that God has prepared for you. There is somebody watching me right now. You have prepared a testimony and somebody came with a counterfeit testimony to come and counter your testimony. You have been expecting God for a miracle and God did that miracle for you and the enemy came with a counter attack to attack your miracle. I decree in the name of Jesus that is above every other name. Let the God of Moses that does great wonder, let him attempt to that wonder. Let the God of Moses that does great wonder, let him 
attend to you tonight in the name of Jesus. Moses, you brought your rod. It became a serpent. Mm. The magicians also dropped their rod. It became a serpent. Moses and Aaron came with a rod. The magicians came with many rod. Many people came with rod. But only one person went back with a rod. Many people had came with wonder. But only one person had a great wonder. I prophesy into your life, uh, in your business, in your field, in your ministry, among your equals, God will give you a great wonder tonight in the name of Jesus. That wonder that God is doing in your life that the enemy saw and they are jealous of her. that testimony that God is giving to you that is wondrous in your eyes and marvelous in thy sight that the enemy is is jealous of i decree in the name of jesus god will give you a great wonder that will swallow the mockery of the enemy god will give you a great wonder that will swallow the laughter of the enemy i have heard a very few story you 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 tell some people i was blessed with ten with ten thousand era and they will look at you and say oh what's ten thousand i was blessed with a million era and they will say oh, what's one million they are trying to counter attack the one that God is doing in your life. But I decree in the name of Jesus, a testimony that the enemy cannot mock, a testimony that the enemy cannot perform, a testimony that the enemy cannot ridicule, a testimony that the enemy cannot but say, well, God will give them to you tonight in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout and believe it. Amen. God created man. And for the first time, I began to think how God created man. God created the heavens and the earth. God created every fowl of the air, the fishes in the water, everything that creepeth upon the face of the earth. And on the first day, he did. The second day, the third day, the fifth day. And on the sixth day, God created man. And something happened after God created man. God called Adam and said, Adam, now begin to name all the animals that I have named. And the Bible said the name that he called them, that, that is what they were. Because he carried a deposit of God inside of him. I am to tell you something that lions are older than man. Dragons are older than man. But man carries a special ability that the animals does not have. Man carry a special ability that animals don't have. Man carry a special recognition that the animals don't have. Man carry a special anointing that animals don't have. Man carry a special glory that the lion does not have. Man carry a special honor that dragon does not have. Man carry a special wisdom that the dolphin does not have. Man carry a special wisdom that the chimpanzee does not have. Man carry a greater strength that the lion does not have. Man is man but the man is tougher than a buffalo. Man is man but the man is stronger than a lion. Man is man but the man is braver than a lion. I am here to decree to you and let you know who that you are. After God created all things, God did something on the sixth day. God did something on the sixth day. And what God did on the sixth day was a great wonder. Everything God, God created was not in God's image. The lion was not in God's image. The giraffe was not in God's image. The birds were not in God's image. The well were not in God's image. But God did something on the sixth day. And what God did, God said, let us create man in our own image. After our own likeness, the moment the animals 
saw Adam, they began to see God inside of Adam. I decree and declare from tonight, people will begin to see God in your life. People will begin to see God in your ministry. People will begin to see God in your business. People will begin to see God in your life. In the name of Jesus. And God created all these things. And after God created it, God said, man, have dominion. You are the last creation, but I will make you in, I will put you in the first position. You are the, you came last, but you are going to operate in the first position. I created the angels before I created you, but you are going to judge angels. Sir. I created the devil before I created you, but you are going to tread upon serpent and scorpion, sir. I created the animal, sir before you, but you are going to give all the animals a naming ceremony. I created I created all the feeds, all the herbs, all the trees of the field, but I am going to give you a dominion that is above every other dominion. That is why after God, after the Holy Spirit, after Jesus, what is next on the hierarchy of the divinity is man because it is only man that looks like God and man was created on the sixth day. And on that sixth day, the lion saw a wonder. But the wonder they saw was different from the wonder he saw when God created the well. The wonder he saw was the wonder of a great wonder. He saw a man. He saw something that looks like God. He had no choice but to bow. He saw something that looks like the Holy Spirit. He had no choice but to bow. He saw something that looks like Jesus. He had no choice but to bow. I decree in the name of Jesus, every wonder of the enemy, every affliction of the enemy, every oppression of the enemy, by the decree of the watchers, I decree they bow tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. There is someone watching me right now. You have been crowned as the failure of your family. You have been noted as the last in your family. God said he's about to do a great wonder in your life and destiny. God said he's about to do a great thing in your business. God said he's about to do a great thing in your marriage. God said he's about to do a great thing of a total turnaround in your life. Everyone one who has ever mocked you, everyone who has ever stepped on you, everyone who has ever looked down on you, they are about to come back and begin to celebrate you. This reminds me of something. Before God created man, man was a dust. The lion stepped on that dust. The gods, they ate from that dust. They pulled on that dust. They, they lie down on that dust. They urinate on that dust. They ignore the dust. They downgraded the dust. They did everything to the dust. But when God was ready to do a great wonder, the Bible said, and God took the dust that the animals had stepped upon. God took the dust that the trees feed on. God took the dust that the lions have... Uh, have walked upon and God formed a man through the dust. What was beneath became above. That which which they were trampling on, that which they were stepping upon became their master. There is somebody you are watching me right now. The enemy think they are stepping on you. They stepped on you in January. They stepped on you in February. They stepped on you in March. Up until May, they are still stepping on you. God asked me to tell you, he's about to do a great wonder in your life and destiny. Everyone who has ever stepped on you, they are coming back to look up to you. Everyone who has ever matched you, they are coming back to celebrate with you. Everyone who has ever mocked you, God is about to do a wonder that will cancel every of their own wonder. God is about to do a wonder in your life and in your business, in your marriage, 
Rakwa the LSC Daba. I am not here to come and preach to you or excite to you. I am about to expose to you what man carries. There is something that man carried that the devil is scared of. There is something that man carried that he which is scared of. There is something that man carries that even your fellow man is scared of. There is something a man carries that his household enemy are scared of. There is something a man carries that even a wife can be scared of the husband. There is something a man carries that even the government can be scared of. There is something a man carries that the whole world is waiting for it. And that is a wonder. And that wonder is right inside of you. I decree and declare, let the wonder in your belly, like the belly of that woman in Revelation 12 and verse 1, that wonder you are about to give birth to, that wonder you are about to deliver in the year 2022, every devil, every dragon, every demon, witchcraft as old, that say you will not deliver it, I decree in the name of Jesus, that is above every other name, let the head of such dragon, let the head of such dragon, be chopped off in the name of Jesus. The devil is not worried about who you are. The devil does not care if you live in America or you live in UK. The devil does not care if you live in Nigeria. The devil doesn't care if you live in Yugoslavia. The devil doesn't care even if you live in the moon. All the devil cares about if you, if you want to use that wonder that is inside of you. Man was created on the sixth day. And this is the sixth month. When preach Jesus it, sir. Was preach it. Come, preach it. When uh, Jesus was about to come to this world, it didn't come in January. It didn't come in February. It didn't come in March. It didn't come in April. It didn't come in May. On the sixth month, God remembered something. On the sixth day, I created man. On the sixth month, uh, Jesus needs to go to the world. That is why the number six uh, is a significant number. Even the word num wonders, uh, wonders carried six letters, uh, which is W O N D E R. Wonder. I decree that wonder into your life. Uh. I decree that wonder into your life. Uh. I decree wonder into your life. Uh. I decree wonder into your life. God knows the purpose. The, God knows the, the, the purpose. God ah, knows the, the, the capacity ah, of this six months. Of this six months and this <laughs> six days. There is something God is about to do. Hey! In, something in this six months. God Wherever you are, wherever you are watching from, at this sixth month, I decree that wonder that is inside of you, let it begin to come forth. I decree that wonder that is inside of you, let it begin to come forth. Shagalikata, Embri Adali, Mangadaki Lebrakati, Zawakwa Barata, receive it in the name of Jesus. John the Baptist came in January. The Bible said something. Elizabeth was pregnant with John the Baptist. For six months, she carried a wonder, but she didn't know. The baby was there, but the baby was not moving. Hey, something happened in the sixth month. The moment the Holy Spirit overshadowed Mary in the sixth month, and Mary visited Elizabeth, her cousin. The Bible said the baby that was inside Elizabeth lived. How did that happen? God created man on his sixth day. Man was man. Man was not living. I believe John the Baptist was inside Elizabeth, but he didn't move for six months. John the Baptist refused to move, but on the sixth month, when he had encounter with the man of the seas, the Bible says, sir, and John the Baptist lived inside the womb of Elizabeth. Elizabeth knew that she had a child, but she doesn't know if the baby was alive or the baby man was dead. Man of God. Man of God. 
she began to understand that what was inside of her was not just a child. What was inside of her was not just a person. What was inside of her was not just a man. But what was inside of her was a wonder. Man of God. Man of God. Man of God. Man of God. Man of yes, God. Calm down. Calm down. Can I say this to everybody? If you are not sharing this broadcast, you have not seen against God. You have seen against blessing somebody. Man of God, please go back to that point. Because as you just said it now, the Holy Ghost said to me, there are things that will be leaping. Things that will be leaping. Mm. People will be suddenly be remembered. Things will mm. be leaping. Because mm. Mary did not know, sorry, Elizabeth did not know what she carried for six months. Mm. It was when the encounter of the angel came and all of a sudden there was a leaping. Sir, please start from that point. Because there are many destinies that we leap tonight. There are many wombs that we open tonight. There mm. are many destinies that we be leaping from where they have been kept tonight. Don't okay. forget in Acts chapter 3, the man that stood up, he did not stand up and begin to move. He began to leap. He began to leap. He began to leap. Listen to me, everybody. Share this broadcast. This man still has more to load. He has more to offload. And that is why I prophesy. Whatever that is inside of you, the man has covered before now. It will leap out. It will leap out. It will come out. It will manifest. Somebody type manifestation. Somebody type manifestation. Somebody type manifestation. Please don't bother about the light. We are in Nigeria. We are in Nigeria. This is Nigeria. Don't bother about the light. Don't bother about the light. All right? Just listen to his voice. Type manifestation. As you type manifestation, everything inside of you will begin to manifest. Your proposal will manifest. Your blessings will manifest. Everything that belongs to you begin to manifest. Listen to me, child of God. Whatever that is inside of you, I provoke it by the power of God to come out. Let men begin to see what you carry. You will manifest. Somebody type, I will manifest. Your blessings will manifest. Your testimony will manifest. Your glory will manifest. I speak as a prophet and I connect my faith to the faith of the man of God that is ministering. I prophesy whatever that is inside of you that is hidden, it will come out. Your healing will come out. Your breakthrough will come out. Your blessings will come out. I said they are coming out. It will manifest. The six months beard record. May this six months be a record in your life. Amen. He that never chases us. Man Amen. of God, continue, sir. Continue. In, Kai, in that same six months, month, something happened. The Bible said something. In that same six months, when Mary met Elizabeth, the Bible said something that happened. Mary went and told Elizabeth and said, there is something inside of me. And Elizabeth said, what is inside of you? He said, a child. I know what Elizabeth would have asked her is, did you sleep with Joseph? She said, no, I didn't sleep with Joseph. Who now did it? He said, nobody. Who did this to you? He said, I saw an angel. A wonder. And that angel. A wonder. The name of that angel is angel gabriel and that angel told me and said the holy spirit shall come upon me and overshadow me and that and when the holy spirit came upon me instead of me to give birth to a man it was a wonder that was inside of me and that is why when a wonder saw the wonder that was inside of you elizabeth the wonder that is inside of you lived the reason why the he baby didn't live, wonders the reason why the baby wonders. didn't live for six months was because what was inside of you, Elizabeth, was not a child, but what was inside of you, Elizabeth, was a wonder. 
There is somebody watching me right now. From anywhere you are watching around the world, there is a there is something you are carrying inside of you. There is an idea you carry inside of you. There is a grace you carry inside of you. And people say that grace is dead. And people say that grace is gone. And people say you can never deliver it. I decree in this sixth mother. Let that baby inside of you. Let that wonder inside of you. Let them begin to leap now. In the name of Jesus, uh, everything that seems dead, uh, everything that seems condemned, uh, everything that seems right off, uh, let it begin to leap uh, inside of you right now. Let it begin to leap uh, inside of you right now. Bali Kadara Basi Tayabada. Some other one that happened in the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel 37. The Bible said something that shook me. The Bible said, and Ezekiel was in the valley of dry bones. And the Bible said something. The Bible said the bones were very dry. And there was nobody to ever speak to those bones. I want to let you know that those bones were not just bones of cemetery. Those bones were born of a wonder that was cut halfway. Those bones were bones of people that carried wonder, but their wonder was terminated along the line. The Bible said something that happened. The Bible said, and the spirit of the Lord carried me. That same spirit of the Lord was what overshadowed Mary. Whenever God wants to do a wonder, God always used the power of the Holy Ghost. When the Bible said in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form, and the earth was void, and the darkness was upon the face of the deep. And Bible said, and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. The spirit of God is not limited to this camera. The spirit of God is not limited to this salmon. The spirit of God is everywhere at the same time. I decree in the name of Jesus uh, let the spirit of God uh, overshadow you now. Let the spirit of God uh, overshadow you now. Let the wonder inside of you, let them begin to spring forth. Uh, let the wonder inside of you, let them begin to leap forth. Uh, let the wonder inside of you, let them begin to jack back to life every wonder that is like the wonder of the book of Ezekiel, every wonder that has been terminated, every wonder that has been orchestrated, every wonder that has been blocked, every wonder that has been oppressed, I decree in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, let the power of the Holy Ghost uplift and uproot every calamity of the enemy, every, every manipulation of the enemy, every affliction of the enemy that has terminated your wonder. I decree every wonder that is dead. Uh, come back to life. Uh, come back to life. Uh, come back to life. Uh, Lerosh Kaba. I understand something. It was never written in the Bible that Jesus or any prophet rose up a donkey, a dead donkey. Nowhere in the Bible, I've never seen it, that an animal died and the animal came back to life. But I have seen in the Bible, where men, a lady, a boy died and God brought the child back to life. I decree, because that wonder was terminated, I decree and declare every enemy that has said they will terminate your wonder, every household enemy that said they will terminate your wonder, every household enemy that said they don't mind if you travel out, but they will tie your wonder from manifesting. I decree in the name of Jesus that is above every other name. I decree by the decree of the watchers, uh, let such and uh, let such destiny, let such man, uh, let such woman uh, be terminated tonight in the name of Jesus. Lerosh Kabali Yami Alabi Gwabra Ati Yakata. I want you to decree it. Uh, if you can speak in tongue, I want you to speak in tongue uh, and say the wonder inside of me in this sixth month, uh, you must manifest uh, the wonder inside of me in this sixth month, uh, you must manifest uh, six is the number of man. Six is the number of man. And man is the number of God. God is G-O-D. Man is M-A-N. Three letters for God and another three letters for man. Three plus three we give you six. That is why the devil understood something about the number six. When the Antichrist said they want to pick a number, they didn't pick one, one, one. They didn't pick five, five, five. 
They didn't pick 777, which is number of perfection. They picked the number of man. They picked man, man, man. I decree in this six month, uh, the devil understand the power of the number six. Uh, number six is always ignored. Uh, number six is always neglected. Uh, but you know something? Only six is a number that when it is lying down, it is six. Uh, when it is standing up, it is nine. Uh, I decree in the name of Jesus, something is about to happen in this house. Uh, something is about to happen in this place. Uh, when, uh, when, when when Elizabeth was pregnant for six months, that was the number six. But when the six stand up, when the six lift up, it became a ninth month. And the nine, the six that was lying down, stood up and became a nine. And in the ninth month, they began to deliver that what which was inside of them. That is why the month of September is called the month of delivery. And the only reason why that happened is because six comes before nine. Six uh, comes before nine. Uh, if you turn two upside down, it will not give you anything. But if you turn six, uh, if you, you if you raise up six, uh, it is going to give you the number nine. I decree in the name of Jesus. Uh, a man, you are about to deliver something in this month. Uh, I decree in the name of Jesus, uh, that one that has God uh, has placed inside your tummy, that one that has God uh, has placed in your life, uh, that one that has God uh, has invested in your life, uh, in this sixth month, uh, I decree, let them begin to leap up. Uh, Paul said something to Timothy. He says, tear up the gift of the spirit uh, that is inside of you. There is something inside of you that wonder inside of you. Don't let that wonder die. Don't let that wonder die. Let that wonder see the light of the day. God is counting on you to do that wonder in the business world. God is counting on you to do that wonder in the ministry world. God is counting on you to do that wonder in the finance world. God is counting on you to do that wonder in the invention world. I want you to know that the Bible says uh, the earth waited uh, and they groaned. Uh, they waited for the manifestation uh, of the wonders uh, of the sons of God. Uh, they are not waiting for your singing. Uh, they are not waiting for your prayer. They are not waiting for your music. They are not waiting for you to dance. Uh, they are not waiting for you to jump. Uh, they are not waiting for you to only give that an offering. But they are waiting for you to perform that wonder that is inside of you. There is a wonder inside of you. For the Bible says, uh, for as many that call upon his name, uh, he has given them the power. There is a power wonder inside of you. There is a wonder, a, a power wonder inside of you. The Bible also says something that the whole earth is waiting for the for the manifestation of the sons of God. The Bible says, eyes have not seen, yes, have not heard. It is here to enter into the heart of man. What God has prepared for those that love him. I know you are a lover of God. I know you are anointed. I know that you are gifted. I know that you are prosperous. I know that you have a wonder inside of you. God is concerned that that wonder inside of you must come out for the next five minutes before we round up this program. I want to open your mouth and begin to pray and say, Father, the wonder inside of me must see the light of the day. Father, the wonder inside of me must see the light of the day. Father, the wonder inside of me must see the light for today. Open your mouth and begin to decree it. Father, the wonder inside us uh, must see the light of the day. The wonder in my family must see the light of the day through me. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I'll pray for you quickly. If I hand over to the man of God, I'll pray for you quickly. I decree and I prophesy. Ezekiel said something. He said, I prophesy as I was commanded. Tonight I have been commanded and I've also been permitted by Pastor Fred to prophesy into your life. I decree in the name of Jesus that is above every other name. Let the wonder inside of you begin to see the light of the day. 
That wonder receive the grace for expression. Let the wonder inside of you receive grace for expression. Let the wonder inside of you receive grace for expression. Let the wonder inside of you receive grace for expression. Let the wonder inside of you receive grace for expression. I decree in the name of Jesus that is above every other name. Every dragon of your father's house, every dragon of your mother's house that is waiting for you to eat up your wonder, that is waiting for you to deliver the wonder and for them to eat up that wonder. I decree in the name of Jesus, let the judgment of God come upon such dragon. For the Bible says, we overcame by the blood of the lamp and by the word of our testimony. I decree the blood of Jesus over your life and destiny. I decree the blood of Jesus to be your protection and your shield. And I decree that the blood of Jesus will fight against every enemy of your wonder. I decree the blood of Jesus will come against every enemy of your wonder in the name of Jesus. If you are sick anywhere in your body, I want you to place your hand Either you are feeling any pain on your body, on your, on your head. Maybe you have a severe headache. Maybe a neck pain, a shoulder pain, or whatever it is. Or you know someone who is close to you who is either crippled, either blind, whatever it is, diseases that is, that is around you. I want you to just raise your hands up. For the Bible says he sent forth his word. And his word, he let them. And Jesus said something. He said, the word I speak unto you, they are spirits and they are life. And Jesus said, as the Father has sent me, so have I sent thee. Jesus is sending me to someone here for your healing, for your deliverance. I decree every pain, every pain, every pain, every disease, every ulcer, every pain, every affliction in your body, in your system, every heart failure, every kidney failure. In the name of Jesus, you are arrested. In the name of Jesus, everyone, anyone who is in the hospital, anyone who is watching from the hospital, from a sick bed, in the name of Jesus, I decree the wonder of healing. I decree the wonder of healing. I decree the wonder of healing. Let the healing out of God rest upon you wherever you are. Let the healing out of God rest upon you wherever you are. Let the healing hand of God rest upon you wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, you are trusting God for a financial breakthrough. Let me pray with you quickly. Lift up your right hand and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be a great wonder in my finances. Let there be a great wonder in my finances. Let there be a great wonder in my finances. For the Bible says something. It said, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established Believe is prophet and you shall prosper. Your prosperity, your establishment is in the hand of God, but your prosperity is in the hand of your prophet. I want you to know that God has given you a prophet, which is Pastor Frederick Obozwa, as your prophet over this war room. And I decree and declare, as he has allowed me to prophesy to you, I decree in the name of Jesus. I connect my anointing to his anointing, and I decree for every hand who needs a financial wonder, let that wonder happen in 24 hours. In the name of Jesus. A miracle of 24 hours. Let it begin to happen in your finances. 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 Let cosa gia brandi ele quandi mande que te livra e ata la vale que te lo rusca bali gianda la ruga aparianda le que te le quandi ala bri le rusca gati ala bacata. I decree in the name of Jesus. Let there be financial wonder. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I want you to check your body. If you are sick, if you have any pain in your body, check the pain. I believe in the name of Jesus that the pain is gone. If, you, if the pain is gone, you can write it on the comment section. You can write it on your comment section. You can let your testimony come in on your comment section. Every testimony is perfected in the name of Jesus. The affliction will not rise up the second time. The God of great wonder will visit you tonight. Tonight, as you lay your head to rest, wherever you are, either you are in Nigeria, you are in the UK, you are in US, I pray in the name of Jesus, today will be your night of wonder. In the name of Jesus, whatsoever that is always pursuing you in your dream, 
that which has been pursuing you by the encounter of today's wonder, I decree they shall not pursue you anymore in the name of Jesus. Sir. They shall not pursue you anymore in the name of Jesus. Sir. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Sir. Your business is blessed in the name of Jesus. Sir. Your marriage is blessed in the name of Jesus. Sir. Your ministry is blessed in the name of Jesus. Sir. Your career is blessed in the name of Jesus. Sir. Your job is blessed in the name of Jesus. I decree, receive the grace for a wonder that you cannot hide. Receive grace for a wonder that you cannot hide. Receive grace for a wonder that you cannot hide. I want to also appreciate Pastor Fred for this great opportunity. Um, I want to really appreciate you, sir. Thank you very much, sir, for this great opportunity. And thank you very much, everyone who watched. My name still remains Jeff Johnson and uh, a pastor from Christ Evangelical Prayer Ministry. I want to really appreciate you for watching. God bless you all over the world, wherever you watched from today. God bless you and God bless you and God bless you and God bless you. We are waiting for the man of God to come up. God bless you and God bless you. Thank you very much, sir, for this wonderful opportunity. I really salute your grace, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. I didn't go anywhere. I was here. I was looking at you. You know, Pastor Jeff, mm, I want everybody, everybody watching, drop a word of appreciation and prayer for this man of God. This man of God, I've not seen anything. You've not seen anything. You know, I often tell you, sir, I often tell you one thing. It's like I'm a push out to you. I always push you. You know why? Because most times what we carry, we may not allow it out. But once that opportunity is given, people will be like, where did this David hide all this while? Mm -hmm. Every one of you, if you love me, if you love this ministry, network, you better behave for some people now. If you love me, you love this ministry, his name is Pastor Jeff, and I know you people are good people. You are going to bless him, because me, I'm going to bless him. So whatever you bless me with, or you bless him with, it must get back to get to him. All right? Now, I want everybody to drop a word of prayer for Pastor Jeff. I'm serious. I, I, I am blessed, sir. Now I understand why the Lord said to me, it will be six nights of wonders. You are just, you just opened my eyes more. Now you came to this platform before. I'm telling you, sir, it's better now. I'm telling you, it's better. That time it was good. Now it's better. Sir, you, sir. I know the next one again. Because that's how you know a man that is growing. Mm. But many people just want to arrive. They don't want to grow. Sir, yes, sir. your growth, your growth will not be calculated by men. Amen. 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 Your growth will be steadily. Steadily. Amen. Amen. God bless you. In Namdi, I like that. Your growth shall be in the measure of Proverbs 11.25. Amen. Proverbs 11.25. I'm telling you, that was a powerful Amen. one. God bless you, sir. Amen. Everybody drop a word of prayer. And those I trust those of you that want to be a blessing to him, go ahead, no problem. Just make sure you be a blessing to him. Man of God, God bless you, sir. Thank you, uh, sir. I decree every word you have released, 10 times of what you have released on us, we come back to you for good. Amen. You have followed the Father without you believe in the grace of Pastor Emmanuel Johnson. Some yes. of you that know Pastor Emmanuel Johnson, this is his nephew. Pastor Emmanuel Johnson, I said, my senior pastor, my covenant brother, this is his nephew. You can just imagine the kind of family. This family, demons are learning. Not people like where I come from. I need to pray. This one, every pastor, father, pastor, Gaffa, everybody. Now, God bless you, man of God. I decrease, sir. Increase on all sides. One thing about Amen. all, 
Amen. One thing I know about war room is this. No one comes to bless us and remain the same. Mm. No one. If you are around me and there's no progress, don't. it's not me. Check yourself. Yes, I can say it without missing words. If you are around me, I'm telling you, you must make progress. Sir, I decree, enter into your foreign currency war. Amen. Amen. Enter into your dollar realm. Amen. Dollar realm. Amen. I'm serious. I'm Amen. serious. Amen. I'm serious. Some of us Amen. are going to make that prophecy come to pass by force. Amen. Don't worry. Amen. Sir, you will be a sign, Amen. a touch, Amen. a city Amen. that cannot be hidden. Amen. Amen. One of the wonder I want to say to every Pastor Jeff, don't go anywhere, please. Just be there, please. Your face is giving me joy. Jeff, Jeff. That's two Jeff tonight. That's two wonders tonight. Let me say this to everybody. While the man of God was ministering, I saw something like a, a, a something like, it looks like a box was opened. And I saw balloons coming out with force. And I saw another one again. I saw something like pigeons coming out. These are white pigeons I'm seeing. I decree there will be peace in the nation of Nigeria. Amen. There will be peace. Forget anything. They will be confused, but we will have peace. Amen. Oh, Amen. I prophesy they will be confused, but we will have peace. Amen. Because certain things are going to come out. I'm prophesying on Nigeria right now. There will be peace Amen. for us. But for Amen. them, they'll be confused. Amen. I'm telling you. We will have peace on all sides. Amen. The next election will not be bloody. Amen. It will, it will be a wonder. Amen. <laughs> the next Nigeria election will be a wonder. That person everybody's thinking now will be the president. I'm sorry, it's not. It will be a wonder. Amen. Now, man of God, while you were talking, I'm, I'm going to be rounding up right now, but listen to this. John chapter 7, verse 38. Everybody, can I have that on the screen? John 7, 38. The Lord said to me, he said, if they can just believe in this scripture, their wonder will begin from now. Amen. Now, Pastor Jeff, yes, sir. three plus three is equals to six. <laughs> and you said three is the alphabet. Three letters are the... Three, God is three letters. Man is three letters. What is today? Today is three. <laughs> I prophesy as God in man. In mm. the name of Jesus, whatever that has stopped the wonder of God in your life, in the name of Jesus, I connect my faith to the faith of the man of God I just preached. May God begin to do wonders in your life. Amen. Amen. John chapter number 7 verse 38 says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture had said, I like this, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Many of you today, everything inside of you that looks like a gift that has been stagnant. The Lord is showing me stagnant waters. Stagnant waters. But today, I speak as a prophet. One grace God has put in me is the grace of 2 Kings 7 verse 1. 2 Kings 7 verse 1. 
He said, by this time tomorrow, one grace I enjoy is when I say it, heaven backs up. From today, your favor will begin to flow. Amen. Overflowing favor. Amen. Everything that God has put in you that has been stagnant, by the force of grace, I push it out. Amen. I push it out. Amen. I push it out. Amen. Every good thing in you that has been hidden by foundational powers, I force it out. In the Amen. Name of Jesus. Amen. Listen to me. The Bible said, as soon as Elizabeth encountered Mary, there was a witness. Today, we speak as witness to witness to you. In the name of Jesus, may you meet those that will bring out your gift in you. Amen. Amen. May you meet those contacts that will provoke what you carry. Amen. Imagine there was no platform like war room, sir. Mm. How would you meet all these people today? Mm. That's the truth. You That's need true. someone that can. I saw some of our church members, they were highlighting Pastor Jeff, oh, Pastor Jeff. Oh. You know why? It is a platform now that has brought another side of you. Hey, after now, another wonder will happen in your life. Amen. Another wonder. Another wonder. Amen. Another wonder. Amen. It will manifest in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible said it was a wonder that in Joshua chapter number six, I believe. He said a man decided to shut the gates that no one should go out, no one should come in. But a wonder was released. He said, march round Jericho. As soon as they march round, a wonder happened. A shout brought down the wall. I prophesy. That revelation that we make you Become a wonder. That instruction, that information that will catapult you to your destiny speedily. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Lord said, Anytime I decree, He said, Men will begin to increase. Amen. He said, When you decree, they will increase. I decree. Whatever that has vowed to make you small. I break it out of your life. Amen. I decree today, may God do for you what you cannot do for yourself. Amen. The Lord just said to me, he said, even for war room, he said, war room will be a place of wonder. Amen. Yes, Listen, watch out what God is going to be doing. Thank God for this anointed vessel. You know, after one encounter, I'm careful who I bring on my platform. I rather preach it or tell Ambassador Rukewe to preach with me. I don't call anybody anyhow after one experience. So I'm careful. Every word God's servant have released upon everyone. May it begin to manifest. Amen. I tell you the truth. Man of God, people are going to be calling. I know that they were blessed. But not only blessed, but I see new CEOs between now and August. Amen. Amen. New CEOs. You know why? That wonder of becoming great has been hidden. Yes. Sir. But this service, this month, on this third day, we initiate you into your greatness. Amen. I pray for everyone watching. In the name of Jesus, I agree with him. If you are sick, you are already healed. So rise up. 
Amen. In the name of Jesus. Get up. I am not asking you. I'm commanding you to get up from that sick bed. Amen. You are healed. Amen. My God, today has been a blessing. I see people's promotion being decided in the next 14 days. In the next 14 days, 14 days, 14 days, somebody will be promoted. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Let these ones begin to flow in testimony, in wealth. Amen. When wonders begin to happen, wealth begin to happen. Yes, Hear this. He made a striking statement. Man of God, on this platform, I am careful when I give dates and numbers. I got the shocking of my life. On the 8th of May, I made a prophetic declaration. I got a shocking of my life, man of God. Somebody munched it. That part, I made that statement. Thank God, God honored it. I said to a woman, she's watching now. I said, you will dance. Your whole family will dance. I said, between now and the next 23 days. I did remember. She popped the message up where I said it and pasted it. <laughs> On the 23rd of that month, God honored it. Wow. The husband, everybody were jubilating. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every prophetic word you have heard here, it will look like a wonder, but it will happen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Now listen to this, sir. It is a wonder for a virgin to carry a child. Exactly, sir. It is a wonder for a man that has forgotten what they call child bearing, like Zachariah, for you to tell him that his wife will have a child. Don't exactly. blame him. But it was a wonder. Mm. It is a wonder that a woman that have had issue for 12 years, all she just said to herself, if I can but touch. Yes, sir. It is a wonder. That how can people be hungry? And a man said, get five loaves of bread and two fishes. Blessed it and distributed it. It's a wonder. Yes, sir. It is a wonder that a man said he will die and will rise up again the third day. Yes, sir. And it happened. It Christianity is a wonder. Yes, sir. Any Force that wants your Christian life to become a blunder. Mm. We come against it by fire. Amen. Amen. Listen, sir, man of God, have you not heard people say, I have been I have been blind for 30 years. And one day, a man of God will say, I open. Is that yes, I can I see now? It's a wonder. It is a wonder. That on the sixth day, instead of God to rest, God be decided to make a man that looks like him. Exactly, sir. Man is a wonder. Woman is a great wonder. Mm. Man is a wonder. Women are great wonders. Exactly, sir. That is why God had to put man to sleep. One thing a man Okay, hear this now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The only lawyer said to me, men are never patient. So go, I had to make a man sleep at creation of a woman. Exactly. Men are always thinking. So God gave him an essential. Holy Ghost an essential. He slept off. And he produced a woman out of him. This month... You will produce things out. Amen. Amen. So God needed man to sleep. This month, you will rest from those bad dreams. 
Amen. Amen. The man of God mentioned it talks about bad dreams. Everyone experiencing bad dream. In the name of Jesus, let God do a wonder in your dream after now. Those Amen. pursuing you, you will pursue them. You Amen. begin to pursue them. You begin to pursue them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Judy Chiwen, do the Lord say I should pray for you? Judy Chiwen, do the Lord say I should pray for you? Whatever that has flowed into your system that is causing you illness, I suck it out by fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The water of affliction is drying up from your body now. Amen. Judy Chiwendu, the water of affliction is drying up from your body. Amen. I command that, that demon called fibroid, uh, sorry, that demon called typhoid, out of your system Amen. in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, Benofidi. Let your miracle be your testimony be permanent. Let your miracle happen in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. Everyone trusting God for a miracle, receive a miracle now. Amen. Receive a miracle now. Amen. Please, sir, uh, pray for me. I just ate in the dream. I decree the blood of Jesus nullify that nonsense. Amen. It will not cause an affliction in your body again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for every child. You are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. In Jesus' Amen. name we pray. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Thank you, Pastor Jeff. I'm super excited. I don't know what to say than to Amen. say the heavens bless you. Amen. The day you were born, I tell you, the Amen. devil knew you were this wonder that would happen today. The Amen. devil knew. So glory to God that he Amen. will keep feeling because Amen. your life is a wonder. Amen. My life is Amen. a wonder. I want to tell you, the Lord will bless you. Amen. All more bless. The Lord bless you. All more bless. All more bless. Amen. The Lord bless you. In the Amen. name of Jesus. I decree Amen. every one of you, you are blessed. Pastor Amen. Jeff, we love you so much. Thank you very we much. Believe sir. We are going to have you again. I'm serious. Thank you we are going to have you again. We keep having you here. Amen. Am I correct, everybody? We will keep having you here in the name of Jesus. Judy Chiwen, did you hear when I prayed for you now? Because you left online, you came back. Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Pastor Jeff. We love you. Thank you so much. You God much, bless sir. you. Everybody, they are blessed. I decree your offerings are blessed. Your prophetic seed is blessed. Every mm -hmm. one of you, you are blessed in mm -hmm. Jesus' mighty name. And let me tell you, this platform is blessed. I'm telling you, the Lord God of heaven has called this platform for a purpose. And don't worry. Some of you are going to be seeing Pastor Emmanuel Johnson. I'm still talking to him so that either Sunday or Monday, the last day, we are going to be with him. And don't forget, every last day of our first month program, is our communion service. Get your communion. I'm telling you, it's going to be powerful. God bless you. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. I Thank celebrate you, sir. the grace of God upon you. I don't take your grace for granted. Heaven sees my heart. Thank Something you, about you that the world has not seen yet. You know, if the world knows you, then you are not a wonder. Oh, yes, if the sir. world knows everything about you, I mean, you are not a wonder yet. But anytime an opportunity is given to you, you manifest it yes, or you maximize it. That's a wonder. Sir, I saw another wonder in you tonight. Thank God you bless time. you, sir. Most of the times I, 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 I took myself off. I was just screaming. I was shouting. You, so that they will not say this man of God is not mis mis is misbehaving. So they will not say I'm misbehaving. So I have to just... Take myself out. So God bless you, man of God. Thank you so much. I love you, Thank Pastor you. Jeff. I Thank love you, the Johnson's family so Thank much. God bless Thank you, sir. sir.
Hallelujah. God bless you all. I decree you are blessed, every one of you, till I come away 9 p.m. tomorrow. We are having on that guest tomorrow again by the grace of God. If Jesus tarries, I believe we we'll see you tomorrow. God bless you all. I sincerely love you all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sister Mel. God bless you. God bless you. Isi Chiamaka. God bless you. Reina Okereke. God bless you. Mimi. Oye, God bless you. Every Stella Johnson. God bless you. God bless Rita Odobo. God bless you. Every one of you. God bless. All more bless. Morawo. Morawo. All more bless. The Lord will remember you. No more disappointment, Morayo. No more bless. No more disappointment. In Jesus' name, the Lord bless you. All right, I have a video tonight, so please, I need to rest. So tomorrow, the Lord is going to help us for tomorrow. God bless you. Oh, I didn't care. I didn't feel like God bless you, one of God. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Ambassador Ruke Welbozoa, God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Favor one, Francis. God bless you. That is a wonderful family. God bless you all in Jesus' name. All right. Till I come your way. Auntie UK, God bless you. Auntie Flores, God bless you. Auntie Sarah, God bless you. Um, who again have I not called? God bless you. Every one of you, God bless you. Gifts. God bless you, every one of you. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Till I come your way again tomorrow, 9 p.m. Nigerian time, 4 p.m. American time, 9 p.m. UK, and whatever time zone, please make sure you join tomorrow. Like the page. Everybody like the page. Invite somebody, please. We can be more than this. God bless you, Sarah. Sarah. God bless you all. Adejo Omame. God bless you, Adejo Omame. How is the family? God bless you. The Lord will remember you this season. Now, one thing I need to understand, need you to understand that there are seasons, there are times. You can miss your season, but don't miss your, you can miss your time, but don't miss your season. Okay? Time may be against you, but make sure your season is not against you. God bless you till I come away again tomorrow. Stay blessed. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the supernatural of the Holy Spirit rest about us now forevermore. Amen. God bless you all. See you tomorrow.